The WAPO journalist at Destiny quote tweeted a couple days ago is legit unhinged. That story keeps popping in my Twitter feed for some reason. She's been going at this unhinged rant for three days. Another male, unlucky journalist, asked her to politely to stop clout sharking at a bullying the original guy here, or see here, and she is now fixated on this guy too. <laughs> this guy tweeted basically the same thing that I tweeted, like, Hey, fighting sexism and misogyny matters deeply to me. I always admire your bravery in sharing your story, and I support your fight against retribution for doing so. Entirely separately, I hope you would consider the cruelty you regularly unleash against colleagues. Um, I reject your attempt to make a specific critique of your regular public bullying into a sweeping opera about principles. As I said, Wiggle's retweet was offensive and should be called out. It was strongly condemned internally, so I'm confused about your implication otherwise. And now she's now she's blowing up this guy on Twitter. <laughs> Holy shit, she's unhinged. Update for those who like me are blocked from reading my colleague's tweets. Here is his thread from this afternoon. No apology, but a whole boatload of more false accusations and mischaracterizations. This is a fucking unstoppable white woman. She's unstoppable. So far, I've received no apology from my colleague for baselessly accusing me of engaging in bullying, harassment, and cruelty just for objecting to a sexist tweet. Holy shit. Look at her go! I've reached out to bosses at Washington Post. Dude, it's unbelievable. Then the Washington Post chief editor released a statement asking everyone to chill and go through proper channels to address disagreements, and she's attacking her too? Wait, link the tweet for that. Really? The most maddening thing is the crowd of yas queens on Twitter who just keep defending we mean and just cannot see how blatantly she's weaponizing this whole incident. It's in the comments. Wait, is it? You'd have to show me where. I don't know where. It's in the comments of the Reddit post. Oh, okay, hold on. Also, apparently she had an incident where she destroyed the career of a guy she had a one-night stand with after she accused him of rape, when during that night she drove him to his apartment and walked six floors with him and had consensual sex with him, but felt like she was after the fact. You can read the whole story here. It's a very long article. She also got her WAPO job after the story was publicized and the guy's career in journalism was destroyed. He started law school after that. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. How can people not see how much... How this is such a naked example of cry bowling and opportunism. I know this is going to be an echo chamber, but I felt the need to vent. Jesus. She's legit on hinge. She filed a lawsuit against the Washington Post saying they illegally discriminated against her by temporarily banning her from covering stories related to sexual assault. This was after she publicly came out as a sexual assault victim. The judge dropped the suit after he ruled that she failed to substantiate a discriminatory motive. In all honesty, I think the reason she's responding this way is she got in trouble for something similar. She was suspended from the paper after she tweeted a link to a Daily Beast article which detailed a sexual assault allegation made against Kobe Bryant literally hours after his death. Jesus. Many journalists came out against WAPO's decision to suspend her, and she was subsequently reinstated. But I wouldn't be surprised if she still had a grudge over this given how she reacted. Damn. Kobe Bryant died like in a helicopter crash with like two of his family members or something, right? Like that was like a fucking insane. Hold on. Am I is my recollection wrong? Um, I might have been biased when I read this at the time. Was the Kobe Bryant accusation was bullshit, right? Wasn't it a girl that like went up to his room at night and she basically said later that he pressured her into sex or whatever? But it seemed like it seemed like it was consensual. Am I wrong on that or what? Whatever came out from that. Was there more data that it was kind of yikes? It was real. He almost definitely raped her. We will never know. Seemed like it. Oh, so we don't know. Maybe we should review that at some point in time. It was pretty bullshit, and she had, like... I don't know if that's true. Um, at the Omni Destiny, the accusations against Jonathan Kaiman and Felicia Sunman's role in this sound like they could make an interesting stream segment. Initial accusation from first accuser Laura Tucker... Kaiman's response to Tucker, I don't even know who these people are. This was her initial sexual assault thing. Some of the accusations against Kaiman, her accusations were a letter addressed to the foreign correspondent from China, blah, blah, blah. Dissecting the accusation and the fallout. Oh, we saw that's already been linked to us. And some Nez's response to that piece. My response to Anna Milioff's recent piece on Jonathan Kaiman is here. I've written to K. Mongord and others requesting that they correct the piece. In our 8,000 word story, there was a lot Miss Yoff got wrong, so please forgive the length. J. 
Jesus Christ. Wait, what? The accusations against Kaiman and what happened to him as a, as a result should be a warning about the dangers of moral panics and of applying mob justice and the bazooka of social media to private relations. To be clear, there was no mob justice in this case. There was, in fact, due process as it relates to Mr. Kaiman's employment. Hmm. Jesus. <clears throat> Why this lady is obsessed with Twitter. This is like the call-out culture on steroids. We used to just call these people tattletales and then bully them in school. This like shit where it's like every time somebody wrongs me, I'm going to run to social media and like tweet out every fucking thing so I can stir up the biggest hate mob possible is actually like mentally deranged. Remember Jessica Price? I, I remember the name. Why do I remember that name? Jessica Price. What is, who is she from? Why do I remember this name? What did we do? Did we ever talk to her or review shit with her? Or I don't remember. Damn, this was the tweet the day after Kobe died. What's happened is tragic. I'm heartbroken for Kobe's family. He was a sports hero. He was also a rapist. And all of these truths can exist simultaneously. Jesus Christ. Guild Wars 2 developer, huh? The accuser had a medical examination that eventually became problematic for her because DNA evidence suggested she had sex with someone else in the 15 hours after she had alleged a rape before the exam. Oof. Okay. Please ask her to come talk. This person would never talk to me. <laughs> to the editor's statement. In the wake of the recent social media dis dust ups involving WAPO journalists, executive editor Sally Busby sends a memo to journalists admonishing them to treat each other with respect and kindness. Colleagues, we expect the staff to treat each other with respect and kindness both in the newsroom and online. We are a collegial and creative newsroom doing an astonishing amount of important groundbreaking journalism. When issues arise, please raise them with leadership or human resource. We will address them promptly and firmly. Damn. And apparently that guy who retweeted the thing, he got suspended without pay for a retweet of a joke. Sexist joke. Probably shouldn't have retweeted it, but the suspension is for one month. Damn. Just a month of no pay. It's entering Freddy Krueger's dream world and trying to fight him there. His entire tone is extremely apologetic and pleading, like he's very fearful of accidentally using either a single wrong word in case he gets torn to shreds too. It's actually true. The um, you have to treat like some of these women online. Hey, fuck the insult, insult. You have to treat them like uh, like they're fucking uh, terrorists or like they're insane mass shooters. You're gonna be like, um, okay, so I understand that I'm coming from a place of white supremacy and patriarchy, um. 
I'm trying not to be condescending um, because I don't want to play into any systemic injustices um, that might be implicitly or explicitly um, causing you to experience microaggression. <laughs> like you're, you're like actually like fucking trying not to stumble into any fucking trap to, to destroy you, you know? Jesus. Did you just fucking say implicitly? Wait, can you not implicitly do something? Isn't that an implication? You imply something to, to kind of like implicitly encourage somebody or communicate something? No? Got him. Okay. The, the thing that sucks the most is these are, these are the kind of people, it's not a good statement, but these are the kind of people that people are talking about um, when they're like, we just shouldn't work with women anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm not encouraging that. I don't think that's a good statement to make, but like, Jesus Christ. But. Um, okay, I think we'll read this one tomorrow, okay? Normal streaming schedule tomorrow. I love you guys. It's been fun. I gotta eat dinner soon. Be careful. We'll be back tomorrow. It'll be good times, okay? <laughs>